My man is doing nothing, but a harm is forming around him. And he's trying to leave the city. But the girls are like, Korea, no, you can't leave. Beep, 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 beep. And the class rep shows up and she's kind of annoying, but she's also cute too. Uh, he did get away, but then there was like a royal cart that showed up and we're shitting on the royal people in our like kingdom, I'm sorry, the, the kingdom people, right, in, our, in the city that we're living in. And it turns out that the person that saved us, the girl, no, sorry, the, the, the girl that we saved, she's actually the daughter of the people that we're shitting on. So it's like, ooh, kind of awkward. Now, aside from that and us just basically just returning home, there's more stuff going on with the delinquents. I believe the suspicious guy basically backstabbed one of the delinquent members at the end of the last episode, right? There's some serious shit going on there. Let's begin today's reaction. Here we go. Leaving off right after the backstab. The jocks versus the otaku. Sorry, the delinquent. Main delinquent guy's done. How is he just beating them so easily? That wasn't even a backstab. That was a front stab. I guess they're just that inexperienced. Ooh, okay. His blade can cut through. Never mind, our blade got cut through. Never mind, that was a delinquent's blade. <laughs> Purgatory sword. He's got the force. Double kill. This is quadra kill, actually. He's going for the octa kill. Who is this guy? He's so powerful. Honestly, the sword fits him way better than delinquent leader A because he was just honestly a joke. This guy, he was quote unquote kidnapped and taken hostage for knowing isekai knowledge or some shit like that to help out the delinquents. And he was kind of like, he choked somebody to death and then the next episode we're talking about how that skill, uh, the one that class rep has where you have to kill somebody and then you get their skills. He's killing them, maybe probably for fun, but like, what is this guy all about? Hijack was his skill's name too. He's a school shooter type. We're back in Omui, alone again. I mean, if this is alone again, looks like we're actually gonna be a loner today. You'll probably get rewarded really well for saving the, you know, this town's like important daughter. Maybe. We can never get away, man. Everyone just wants us. That is an aggressive power. Yeah. Alright, just give me the reward, goddammit. The food's nice, though. <laughs> he ain't even looking at you. He ain't even w listening to you. Hmm? Our reward, money. We did go broke because, like, we bought everything. Oh, shit. Yo, this is probably, like, super important, uh, what's it called? Like, a uh, security card that lets us allow, that lets us, like, go in and out as we please. I bet you this is so fucking OP. Nice. No, we're gonna get out of here. We're not remembering people's names. We're not gonna remember the town's names. We're gonna get out of here. Pudding. Bro don't care. He's the wrong guy to try and fucking seduce. He does not care. He is just, I feel bad that every girl is trying so hard to get like his attention and he just does not give a fuck. He cannot be bothered. Right, now we're being inspected. <laughs> we went outside and saved her. Jesus Christ. It's like in lockdown. Bro, this feels like house arrest. Like, why? Why won't you let us leave? I don't understand. We owe you nothing. And you owe us nothing. We should just part our ways. I'm not your pet. Bro, run. <laughs> this mommy suffocating behavior is so suffocating. Here we go. We're leaving one more time. We got an ID. We got a passport. What is this? Is this round four? First round, we couldn't even get out. 
Second round, we did get out, and then we saved her, and now we're back. So this is round three right now. Nah, don't leave a note. Just fucking ghost her. Ghost her. Gonna go. Checking on the jock. Level up and wait for me. Haruka. I mean, check, up, check on the jocks, I'm sure, is like just an excuse. But right now, we really do need to check up on them. That card is thick. A thick ass boy. Show him the VIP card. That's right. Wants a carrot to be under attack immediately? Nope. More mushrooms. We're back in the forest. Oh boy. Back home, baby. The goblins, too. The cute cops and cops. Papa's home. I feel like something bad might have happened to our home. Big boy. Too easy, though. We're too powerful for here. Meaning, there is a different threat deeper in the forest that's making all these powerful monsters come out to this part of the forest. What could be that threat? Is it the scary dude with the sword now from the intro scene? Invisibility cloak is crazy though. Bro, he has cut through clothing. His clothes can't be cut. Delinquent blood? We didn't even end up meeting them in the town. Because they dead and it's their blood. Wonder if the jocks are still alive. They are not dead, I don't think. They're just beaten up really bad. You alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. All the delinquents died, but the jock seems to have lived. Damn, he actually cares a lot about them. Potion's gonna be good enough? Is this gonna be like Tensura where you just fucking throw a potion at them? They'll be fine? They're chilling. See, so you're setting some death flags. Wait, wait, wait. When you start talking like this, it sounds like you're about to fucking die. It's like, I did good, didn't I? Yeah, you did well. Ugh. That's what's gonna happen. Are they gonna live? I think they're gonna live. I think they're gonna live. The potion should have been enough. Yeah, they're chilling. The last we heard of them, the otaku's like, they went into the town and then we haven't heard anything about them. So they're probably doing their own stuff. That one rogue guy, though. The rogue guy who killed everyone. He basically won V8. But, like, the delinquents are probably stupid and don't really know exactly how to, like, isekai it up. So I guess it makes sense. And these jocks, they're not really dead, but... Wonder if it was intentional that he kept them alive. Who is it? Math genius. Hmm. Who? The girls? Us? Yeah. How are you gonna get the hijack skill if you kill her unless you have your own version of hijack? Yeah. Only the nerds and, you know... Haruka knows, but it's because the dude right now that's gone rogue is used to be a nerd, right? Wasn't that the whole reason why the delinquents even took that guy as quote-unquote hostage? Because of his superior knowledge of how to isekai it up, right? So it does make sense that he would also know that she has hijacked because the nerds knew it and he used to be a nerd? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm confused about him being an ex-nerd. I thought he was. But like, what's the point? She has hijack. You, what are you gonna do? Kill her? Unless you have your own version of a skill that lets you to take other people's skills. I have no clue how that's gonna happen. But then again, the nerds had different bullshit skills like 
sealing away powers, right? So there must be a way to kind of like extract that skill from class rep if he's after her. Yeah, he intentionally let them live. Why? As bait. Ah, smart. Yo, that's actually a big brain move. Probably. <laughs> that is true. He didn't ask to be a hero. He never asked for anything. He just wants to be alone. But right now, I think that you're the only one that can kind of save the problem, man. Okay, here we go. We're in. Ooh, dramatic win. CGI lead. Ooh. Nah, you'd be honestly holding us back. And it kind of fits his whole style of doing everything alone, too. Yeah, he can. Haruka looks sick right now. Yo, he's so serious. Okay. Get out of here, Jax. Giga Haruka. Sure. Imagine the guy is now going to chase, like, like they're going to the class rep. The whole reason he let them live without dying is so that they would maybe go out for class rep and he would just follow them. Imagine he heard all of this shit. And now he's going to lead him right back to the class rep. And Haruka's going to be in the forest be like, where's that guy? Where's that guy? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this might be kind of bad. Uh, are you sure about this? Are we the one being dumb right now? I don't know, man. I get that logic, but at the same time, you know, what if they're chasing after him now? Intermission scene incoming. No intermission. Class rep. What if they fucking go into the forest? What if the class rep... They all like come into the forest because they're worried about Haruka. Maybe the Haruka went into the forest and then, you know, fucking class rep is basically just finding, you know, the rogue guy. True. Dane indeed. She's literally our mom. She's so worried about us. Oh, right, 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 right. Last episode, we learned about this mechanic too. Right? We are so low level that we can't use this, but at a certain level, threshold, you can use weapon skills where it's just, it's just OP. You, like, even though you're not strong through weapon skills, it's just like you can do powerful attacks. During the time where it's being casted, there's a vulnerability. So it'd be nice if we could have some sort of turret that's like attacking it while we're dodging the attack, such that we can hit the vulnerability while dodging at the same time. We should subjugate these goblins. 19. Subjugate. Oh, no. <laughs> the poor goblins alone. I thought we were going to subjugate them and, you know, use them as our little minions to, you know, and help us out in the fight. <laughs> Hobgoblin. Goblin King. More strong monsters. <laughs> he has a little crown. <laughs> he is the Goblin King after all. But it's funny that a Goblin King has a fucking crown. But he has... He's basically just wearing, you know, just like... What is this? Fucking horse food? He just like a rubber around like a horse food. Just the haystack. <laughs> Evade cloak. The fuck is an evade cloak? What? The cloak just allows you to evade? The fuck is an evade cloak? I'm confused. What the hell just happened? Evade cloak. Yeah, I know it's his item that combined last episode, but what should an evade cloak be doing? A cloak that lets you evade. What the fuck does that mean? That it just helps him dodge? Or the fact that if you get it hit while wearing the cloak, that it's an auto dodge. What is it? It's a little bit ambiguous on what it's doing right now. Well, like, like, I understand an invisibility cloak. You put it on, you go invisible. Okay. Well, what the fuck is an evade cloak? You just auto dodge if you get hit? 
回避はギリギリできるでも器ったら相手にとって不足なしあれを試せ What's new? Holy shit! さまざまなスキルを組み<笑> What the fuck did you just go? <laughs> Packing appraisal, serial thinking? <laughs> Parallel thinking, concentration, stealth, walking, dash, sensitivity, perception, quick. Jeez, that's a lot of fucking thinking happening here. <laughs> Into one. He just mixed everything up. It's a cocktail. What just happened? Okay. Not really sure how those different thinking skills and different perception shit kind of combines to create this fucking cut, but hey, cool. Combined all the skills, powerful attack, sick. But this is still not his weapon skill. He can't even use it. Cool. You do not have bad skills. Don't fucking tell me that you have bad skills, bro. Packing is the most bullshit skill in this game. Bloodless. Oh. Hello. Goblin. Oh, shit. What's a king to an emperor? This guy's pretty much like. More than double the Goblin King's level. He was 23. This guy's 50. Maybe you could. You combine all the skills again, man. So what's he mixing up this time? Stealth. It's all. Oh, we got. We got calisthenics this time. Well being. All right. Just fucking mix it up. What is it? What happens now? Made up. <laughs> just made up skills. Did he win? I think so? No damage though, it's laughing at us. Maybe we should run away. Actually dangerous. This thing is actually dangerous. Monsters can use weapon skills too. It can heal itself, bullshit, bullshit. I always get mad in video games when the enemy starts healing themselves. Even though I just now healed probably 20 times during the fight. And then the enemy starts drinking a potion or something and I'm like, You fucking fraud! You're cheating! But I'm like, come on, bro. <laughs> Are you really in a position to get upset? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Or like fucking Dark Soul. Like Pokemon. Enemy uses full restore. It's like, this is bullshit! As I've used like 20 fucking full restores that match. And same with Dark Soul. I'm just like dodging, 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 chugging potions. And the fucking enemy chugs one potion. I'm like, this bullshit. You're fucking cheating on me. I don't think this is a guy we can beat it now. Like, we're actually getting pressed. Run, bro. Fly away. The jocks. Here we go. And one of the most, uh, it's not an annoying thing, but maybe a little bit funny is how he says you know, he's combining all these fucking skills into one and he's just like doing shit up, just made up skills. But like, bro, all he's doing, he's basically a swordsman. He just, every attack is just like a melee attack with this fucking stab and it just like creates like a fucking blue line or like a yellow line. Just like this new fucking skill. What is it, bro? You just fucking hit him with your stab. Boom. Did we win? We won, yeah? Okay. Beat a level 11 now. That hell yeah. I can feel it, man. I can fucking feel it. What was he before? Like level 9? And now he's... I can't say that number back to back. Was he level 10 before? Here, new skills. Made up. <laughs> Master of None takes longer to level up, but makes it easy to acquire skills and raise their level. I think that, um, this is probably better. I mean, shit, did you not just see a level 9 defeat a level 53? Like, I don't think that this is really a disadvantage. It is a disadvantage in terms of not being able to use level threshold skills like weapon skills, but the fact that we can just acquire skills and raise their levels, the proficiency of these different skills and raising their levels seems to be way more beneficial than our actual level. Made up skill. Hold up, hold up, hold up. My made up skill handles the opening left from using a weapon skill. No prep. Insta cast. I guess. Okay, sure. 
You are the one with the cheat skills. Fuck you. Okay, here's the outlaw guy. The rogue dude. Show me your face, bro. What do you look like? You're so mysterious and hooded. Oh, shit. He's showing up to our place. Oh. Is it him? The rogue guy? Who are you? I don't really know. Unless it's one of the otaku existing members. This is a brand new character, is it? I have no clue who this guy is unless he used to be an otaku member. And if so, I don't even remember the otaku guys. Like, straight up. I don't remember their faces. I'm not gonna lie. Tanaka. Tanaka? Tanaka? I remember this scene. I remember this scene. <laughs> but he planned all this, yeah? Rare that he actually remembered Tanaka's name. Because he always says, Gal 1, class rep this, you know? Gal leader A, jock this, jock that, right? Like, he actually remembered his name. That's significant. <sighs> Alright, the girls are coming back. I wonder... So now we don't have to be worried about Tanaka going... Like, following the jocks and, you know... Um, finding the girls. But if the jocks show up and tells them about Haruka, I'm sure the girls will feel compelled to save him, even if he might not need saving. Maybe Tanaka will press Haruka to the point where... Maybe it'll be like a very unfair fight. Something shitty happens, and even though Haruka should have won, something really bad happens. And then that's when the girls show up and clutch and saves us, is what I want to predict. <laughs> The jocks. I'm like, oh, wait, is that two Tanaka? No, no, it's just the jocks. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> About that. He's in the forest fighting. Y'all better go after him right now. There's no way class rep will stay still. Ah, oh, I just realized something. Rather than the first guess that I had of the girls going to save Haruka in this predicament, what if she shows up and Haruka would have been perfectly fine, we're chilling, and she gets used as hostage, or like something bad happens, she's a liability rather than helping us. Ah, oh, fuck. Nah, don't do that. That'd be so annoying. Basura, please don't be a liability. Please help us. Yo, this standoff is epic. Oh, he's a It's a good plan. You're creepy, bro. Ah, It was a long setup. Probably. Like, back on Earth, maybe he was super bullied by the delinquents, and now he's like, I got this one chance to get my revenge. <laughs> the puppet master. <laughs> you lost him. What are you going to do with it, though? She has it. You can't take it. Oh, he's really underestimating us, man. <laughs> Oh. You ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. Ooh. Dramatic win. Yeah, this is actually getting pretty epic. Aruka is looking way better than before. Like, god damn. And the dramatic leaves. I, I think it really is the dramatic wind and the fucking leaves, bro. And like the uh, red sunset lighting. But this is super hot. Let's go. That's right. I may not know their names, but I still want to protect them. Next episode, though. Cliffhanger. That aura. What has he got? And that's another episode of Loner Life, and things are getting super fucking heated, man. What was today's episode about? Um, We have a VIP... Uh, passport. We can just go in and out as we want. The level restriction shit does not really matter to us. So it was a good thing that we did save this girl, but I kind of feel bad because she wanted to really be nice and present herself in a really nice way and Haruka ain't having any of it. So another girl just gets all the affections just wasted. We've run away. We're back in the forest. The jocks are alive. They got used as bait to lead to class rep, which is a genius idea. The delinquents are dead. Haruka has leveled up. But after beating like a demon, sorry, a goblin emperor thing. And now he has the skills that he wants. 
this fight, I wonder how it's gonna go down. He's looking more epic than ever, and we have some OP skills. Well, I say they're OP, but to him it's really weak. But if you combine them together, and packing is so versatile that like I think he's gonna be fine. Will it be a scenario where some underhanded situation happens where Haruka will be in danger and then Class Rep and the Gal show up and save us? Or during a moment that's going really well, will Class Rep show up and he use his liability? And then to build off of that, why does he even want Class Rep and our hijack skill? Well, I know why he wants it, because obviously it's a super OP skill that if you kill someone, you can take their skills. But it's bound to her. Maybe he has a power that can like mind control and control the class rep so that he can use hijack as like a proxy maybe or maybe there's like a way to extract that skill beats me only one way to find out that's it for me though if you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content until next time take care